uh, Reverend Stacy Stringer, um, uh, Episcopal priest uh, at uh, Holy Trinity at the time. Um, uh, she, uh, she and I had had a, a kind of a, a friendship. Uh, uh, she called and said, uh, Deb, did your church uh, get flooded? You know, ours is still dry, come and, uh, and, and you're welcome here. It sounded like the best offer I'd ever heard <laughs> because uh, our church received uh, four feet of water uh, everywhere. Episcopal Church has uh, welcoming others as its, uh, as its brand uh, and uh, it became more of a brand and more of a logo to us. It became a way of life. Um, started dreaming about what we could do in ministry together. Uh, Stacy was talking with uh, other staff people about the possibility of the uh, Episcopal Service Corps coming, but housing was very difficult uh, in this area uh, because it's uh, it, it, all of our houses have been damaged and I just happened to walk into her office at that moment and I said, we have a house. <laughs> it was time for us to, to turn that out for the community and turn it into a gift for the community. And this was a gift. God gave us the, the, the resources and the idea and the possibility kind of came together in, uh, in Stacy's office. And what's been exciting in the last uh, several weeks as the house is being rebuilt uh, is uh, uh, being able to tell these uh, these volunteers that come in of how this house is going to be used, uh, they light up, they get fired up, they get excited that this is uh, what they're going to be a part of. That dream continues and uh, that partnership and the story continues to form between the Lutherans and the Episcopals.